Welcome back to Project 613. Today we learn four mitzvot. The first is that we have an obligation to obey the Sanhedrin. That means we have to listen to the rulings of the Jewish Supreme Court, known as the Sanhedrin. The Jewish people had a Supreme Court starting from the days of Moses, a panel of 71 judges. And this continued all the way until the 3rd century of the Common Era when it was forced to disband by the Romans. And the Torah tells us that we must listen to the rulings of the Sanhedrin, who will determine for us and teach us how we are to understand the laws of the Torah and how we are to fulfill the mitzvot. It was in the Sanhedrin's jurisdiction to interpret the Torah. The Sanhedrin held on to and maintained the oral traditions that were given from Moses and taught in every generation. And we are commanded in this mitzvah to fulfill and to listen and to accept the rulings of the Sanhedrin to accept their interpretation of the Torah, to accept their derivations when they derive laws using the methods that were given to them in order to, de to derive laws in the Torah. And not only that, but even when they choose to legislate new laws, new rabbinic decrees, we are obligated by Torah obligation, by biblical obligation, to fulfill and to keep these rabbinic decrees that later generations Sanhedrin will perhaps deem it necessary to legislate a new law, then we would be considered biblically obligated to fulfill that. A very famous example of that is the festival of Hanukkah and Purim. These are not biblical holidays, but they were legislated by the Sanhedrin many generations later. But by Torah law, we are obligated to fulfill them as though they were a mitzvah in the Torah because of this mitzvah that we're learning today, where the Torah says that we are to heed the voice of the Sanhedrin, we are to listen to, your, to the authority of the Sanhedrin. That is a positive mitzvah. And the second mitzvah that we learn today is a parallel prohibition where the Torah tells us, do not veer off from their instructions. Lo tasur mina do not turn away from the way that the Sanhedrin will teach you. So we have both a positive mitzvah of listening to the instructions of the Sanhedrin, obeying the sages and the instructions, and their interpretation of the Torah, both the written Torah, as well as the oral traditions, as well as a negative prohibition of disobeying. We are forbidden to disobey. And then the next two mitzvot that we learn today, the third and the fourth, are, number one, a positive mitzvah, that it is forbidden to add to the Torah, lo tosif, the Torah says, do not add any mitzvot to the Torah. And then we have the negative prohibition, do not take away. We have 613 mitzvot of the Torah. We are not allowed to add to them, and we are not allowed to take away from them. Now, you may be wondering, didn't we just say that the Sanhedrin is allowed to legislate new laws in later years? Yes, they can, but they would have to make it very clear that these are rabbinic laws, not Torah laws. What we cannot do is add to the Torah. We cannot claim that the Torah has been broadened, that there is now a 614th mitzvah in the Torah. That would be forbidden. But if rabbis in later generations, if the, if the Sanhedrin in a later generation deem it necessary to legislate a certain law in order to safeguard a Torah law, or for whatever other reason they find necessary, then they can do so under the purview of a rabbinic law. But they would not be adding to Torah law that way, because it would be very clear that that's a rabbinic law. So this is what we have. Number one, it's forbidden to add to the Torah. Number two, it's forbidden to take away from the laws of the Torah. God gave us a Torah and it's perfect. We don't change it. We don't take away from it. We don't even try to enhance it. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.